What's going on, everybody? So today, I'm just wheeling around the shop here. Because this chair is actually stupid nice. I've used it, I think, three or four times now and still just going strong and it's holding my fat self. So um, today I went and picked up a couple of different things from Harbor Freight. Um, one of them I already have a set, so we're going to kind of do a comparison between the two. Um, I think results will actually end up being pretty shocking. And then uh, the other one I have been looking to get for a while, just haven't talked myself into it, and I finally did. So uh, let's get started on that. Okay, guys, so here it is. Um, we have the pry bar set here. Um, the ones that are laying on top, I got a three-piece set from Amazon, and it cost me about, I want to say it was like $28. I've had them for a long time, but as you can see, they've been through hell. This one's held up pretty nice, um, and same with this one here, just kind of normal wear and tear. Uh, when it comes to the long one, though, I warped and bent the crap out of that thing. Sadly enough, just on trying to tighten back up an alternator belt. So I'm um, not too fond with this one, uh, and I know I've been needing to get a replacement set for a while now and Harbor Freight had this one on sale for their Memorial Day sale. Um, came up to like, guys, I think it was eleven forty nine. It was nine ninety nine plus wherever tax is for you guys. So uh, we're gonna open up this set. We're gonna kinda do a comparison for the three piece set that I got versus the four piece set that they have. Um, price wise, I can tell you already, Harbor Freight beat them. Uh, we'll see about quality and I'll do kinda using them versus uh whenever i get a chance to use them i should say uh and we'll go from there and then the next thing is going to be the t-handled hex key set uh we're going to do a small little look over for those i've been looking for them for a while now haven't really had a chance to do so um and now i finally got to get up there and get a set of them because that t-handle does come in handy especially on the small engine stuff so yeah Let's get started on opening up the pry bar set and doing a little comparison. All right, guys, so we're going to compare these smaller ones to the smaller, next size up, next size up, just to kind of see what the difference is and how everything looks. Um, so let's open this thing up here. We'll say the packaging is already pretty nice. Um, Whenever I got this three-piece set, literally they were shrink-wrapped together. Um, they don't even have a brand name on them at all anyway, guys. But like I said, it was a little cheap set from Amazon. So, smallest one here versus smallest one here. I will say the Amazon one is thicker. I don't know if you guys can really see that or not. Um, but I will say it's got a finer point to it than this one as well. So um, that could actually come in handy for a little bit tighter spots or anything. I will say it feels, if not even sturdier than this one here. But uh, I don't have anything to pry them up against to really do a good test for you guys yet. But I'll let you guys know how it goes the more I use it. Um, it is longer. Uh, handles look almost the same. It's rounded here versus squared off here. But overall, um, really great quality when it comes to these ones. Especially for only being, well, heck, let's cut it short, 10 bucks. Going up to the next size one, guys. Looking at them, like I said, the Amazon one does come out thicker. Um, but to me, just doesn't seem as sturdy. I've used these things for a while. I've warped them. I've beat the heck out of them. Uh, these ones here. I'll have to see how long they last me versus what the Amazon one did for sure. Um, I like the fact they're actually branded. They are powder coated and that is super nice. Uh, might actually last a lot longer coating versus this is just painted on. There was no coating to it. So We'll say third to third. That guy, there's a massive difference. This one's actually bigger, but I got one more in here that might be a little bit better. As you guys could tell, like I said earlier, this thing's all warped and jacked up. Um, once again, finer points on the Harbor Freight one and that powder coating. 
I will say that thing still feels sturdy all the way through even with how long it is versus that guy but let's do the next one Ah, so this one's going to be the one closest to it. And as you can see, because of the warp there, this one might have actually came out a little longer than the Harbor Freight set um, if it wasn't warped so easily on me. But overall, same thing. A lot finer, sturdy handle. I really feel like we're going to get really good use out of these guys. Uh, I feel like they're going to turn out better and for the price of them you just can't beat it they also have a lifetime warranty um i tried to warranty this through amazon and they said i missed used it um i don't really know how you can tell me that when it's automotive pry bar and it was for an alternator but uh lifetime warranty and harbor freight does that hassle free they don't care what happened to it as long as you bring it back pittsburgh is going to warranty it and harbor freight's going to get you taken care of so keep that in mind uh, i'm really i'm going to love using this set i'll give you guys an updated one after i've used them uh and we'll do a after to after comparison as well but we'll have to do that in the next video guys let's get over to the hex key set and kind of see how that thing looks and goes uh lifetime warranty on them as well harbor freight's really good about that so we'll go to that one next all right guys so this one is the 18 piece offset t handle hex key set um they say it's got long reach high torque ball end and standard hex head size um it gets 1 16th 5 64 3 30 seconds 1 8 5 30 seconds 3 16 7 30 seconds 5 16 and 3 8 for the standard for the metric it's got the 1.5 millimeter 2 millimeter two and a half millimeter three millimeter, four millimeter, five millimeter, six millimeter, eight millimeter, and 10 millimeter. Um, does skip some sizes a little bit there, but it is the most frequently used stuff, especially when it comes to our small engine stuff. And that's what I really wanted to get this for. It was mainly for some of the small engine stuff I do. So let's open this box and see what it looks like. Actually, it looks like it's got a nice little cage and stuff with it. Actually, it looks like it comes pre all in there. So, that'll make this a little bit easier. All right. As you guys can see, it's a little jumbled here, but nothing terrible. holes all those are supposed to slide into but that was probably during driving over here or something um that's just kind of how it looks it's got a little holder sae and metric all on the same one i actually dig that holder that's actually really nice i actually know probably where i want to put that thing but it comes with metric in gray standard in red standards normally red and then metric is whatever color they make it but I think this set's going to come in handy as well. We'll have to utilize it during some small engine stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to get to use these. They also have that lifetime warranty, so if I do end up getting crazy and snap them, then they're going to replace them for me. So let's see if we can find a home for this. Guys, I hope you like that little tool review. Um, if you guys are looking for any type of shirts as well, uh, hit us up. We are making them now. Um, they're all done right here in-house. So uh, you guys just let us know if you think of anything cool that you guys would think merch-wise that we could start selling. Uh, I'm always up for ideas. Uh, hopefully you guys like that little tour, tool review. And there's going to be plenty more of them to come. There's going to be some new stuff coming to the channel. And hopefully a nice little project coming soon. Hopefully you guys will stick around and enjoy that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.